people come to you to solve their problems because that's a gift. Don't run from it. That's a gift. You solve problems all the time. You can earn a lot of money doing that. You know what people pay for in this country? They pay for expertise in this country. The moment you're an expert at something in America, you can make a million dollars. All you gotta do is be an expert at one thing. That girl up there that's an expert at social media, if she really bad down, she could be a millionaire. If you know how to grow tomatoes better than anybody else, you can make a million dollars growing tomatoes. You just gotta be an expert. I'm an expert at jokes. I tell jokes, I'm an expert. They got paid me, ta-da. I was sick and tired of being poor. Christmas time, my father would put us in the car and take us out to the suburbs to see the Christmas lights. And I would see these big houses, man, with lights all on them and they had horseshoe driveways where you just pull in and go all the way around. That shit was amazing to me. You know, we would pull up in the driveway, got a back out, that was it. My motivation was to buy a big house so I could put up Christmas lights and drive in the driveway. And every home I've ever owned or built, you got to pull in one way and drive all the way around to come out there. I have never built, lived, or owned a home that did not have that driveway with gates on both sides. Never. That was the biggest motivating. So my advice is you have to find a dream that's so big that it overwhelms all of your fears and causes you to never give up. Now you're gonna think about quitting no matter what you do. I mean, I've thought about it many times, but I always just kept thinking about that house. There are some things that only experience can teach. You can Google it, you can read it, you can take it in school, you can get a degree in it, you can get a master's, you can get a doctorate, but when you start doing it, you'll find out that experience ends up being the ultimate teacher because a lot of the principles that worked out on paper that got you an A don't work out on people. You've got to upgrade your friends. It ain't nothing bad, you just got to upgrade people in your life. But if you're the smartest person in your group, you need a new group. You cannot be the go-to person in the group. Upgrade your friends. Once you've had enough disappointment, sometimes your brain doesn't want to get disappointed, so it's a permanent problem. Please write down, no problem is permanent, only your soul is permanent. Every problem can be solved. The pandemics are not forever. Winter is never forever. War is not forever. Nothing's forever. Everything changes. Everything eventually ends and something new begins. That's part of life. Those are the seasons of life. But when you start believing the problem is permanent, it is because it's self-fulfilling. If you don't own something, you're not the boss. You have to take full responsibility for everything that you do. Why be subservient? You must be the master of your own kingdom. You can't just walk into things with your eyes half open. You will walk into things with your eyes fully open. You've got to know what you're getting into. You have to take possession of your life. Promise yourself you'll read the books until your skills change. You'll go to seminars until you get a handle on it. You'll listen to it until it makes sense. You'll go for it until you understand it. You'll practice it until you develop the skill. Never give up until, however long that is, step by step, piece by piece, book by book, word by word, apple by apple, walk around the block, walk around the block, go for it. Don't miss the chance to grow and resolve that you'll pay the price until you learn, change, grow, become. Then you'll discover some of life's best treasures when you pay that price. The quote says, um, when you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person that walked into it. That's what the storm is all about. When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Mm -hmm. To be the best, you have to work the hardest. You have to chase what seems impossible over and over and over again. Because giving up is not an option. And when you feel like you've reached your limit, it's only the beginning. That's when it's time to dig deep, to find the courage to push some more. Because if you got the drive, the discipline, and the resolve to do what it takes to make yourself great, then the rewards are endless.